This work explores how to minimize the energy consumption of the backlight when displaying a video stream without adversely impacting the user's visual experience. Reducing the energy consumption of mobile devices has been a major challenge in sustaining mobile applications. Among the applications, Cisco forecast that video streaming will account for 66% of mobile traffic by 2017. When a video is displayed, the backlight used to illuminate the display subsystem consumes most of the energy. This observation motivates us to explore how to minimize the backlight's energy consumption when browsing multimedia streaming applications on mobile devices. A sensible way to reduce the energy consumption is to dynamically adjust the backlight with the video being played. The technical problem is to determine appropriate levels subject to scaling constraints that limit image distortion, reflect hardware limitation, and consider user perception. To solve the problem, we propose an approach for exploring dynamic backlight scaling optimization and energy experience trade-off. Based on the approach, we present a cloud-based energy saving service, called the Dynamic Backlight Scaling Service. We have deployed the service on Chunhua Telecom's Hick Cloud. We have also developed a mobile application program for Google Android and Apple iOS to access the service. For performance evaluation, we studied four videos with different characteristics. With the program installed, HTC Desire and Apple iPad could save 15 to 49 percent backlight energy when browsing videos on YouTube, while users were not conscious of the dynamic backlight scaling technique. In the following, we provide a demo. This demo shows an experiment designed to validate the practicability of the proposed approach. Two HTC Desire smartphones played the same video, where the right one played with our approach. The green line on each smartphone shows how the backlight was changed with the video. The two figures below show the corresponding smartphone's transient power measured by the power monitors. In the second half of the demo, the same video was played again and the functionality of displaying backlight changes was turned off to test whether users can differentiate which of the two videos adopted our approach.